Hello everybody, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today I have some mail time I want to share with you guys. I picked up a couple different things from some online retailers. This is from Blade HQ, this is from Knife Center, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. The unboxing knife, or excuse me, the unpackaging knife is going to be my most recent pickup, which was the Wii Subjugator. The review is coming on this soon. Just gonna give a couple of my little nitpicks, things I love, things I don't like about it. Um, there's just plenty of that kind of stuff. So, all right, let's get into it. This knife is probably a little dull because I have been using it continuously all week. But it seems pretty good enough. Still cut open packages. Let's see. Oh, cool. I did ask for some stickers from Blade HQ because I love stickers. This is cool. I haven't seen this one before. Uh, established in 2003. That's cool. I like that. And I have another one of these already. Um, cool. And this is my first Wii pen. When I told my fiance about uh, me picking this up, she kind of made fun of me in like a Scottish accent saying, Oh, you got yourself a little Wii pen. Uh, like, I don't know, I'm probably offending a bunch of people. Don't know, don't care. Alright, let's get into it. So this one specifically, uh, does it even say the model on it? Shrinks? I believe it's called the Shrinks. TP-04A. has the tolerance of a apple box, almost. Maybe not as smooth. And here it is. So this is a tiny little uh, keychain pen, essentially. Comes with two refills. Looks like there's one, two, three, four little O-rings. Not sure what for yet. And then a, uh, a key ring, but this is the main portion of the package so it is full titanium with uh this pretty cool finish on it blue and like blurple anodizing it looks like really purple inside the hole but the majority of the other areas is really blue there's the Wii logo right there oh okay cool now i know what the little uh O-rings for it just seats itself right there. I'm assuming to, I guess, be watertight possibly, so it doesn't get messed up. And this has just a little bit of a, it's wax on the tip. You just scratch that off. Cool. Let's try this out. Got a little piece of cardboard for cutting and for writing. Sweet, <laughs> juicy right off the bat. Cool. Nice. <laughs> awesome. This is, okay, this is cool. Um, this guy, after shipping and uh, taxes, is about 30 bucks. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> and like I mentioned, it does come with two refills. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Say, well worth it. It's going to live on my keys until whenever I decide to get something different or pro probably lose it. I'll probably lose that thing before I uh, actually end up having to use the refills. <laughs> Let's get into this. And this one is from the Knife Center. This is the first time I've ever purchased anything from them. So here we go. Um, you'll already know what it is based on the thumbnail, probably. But I got two things. So I got a new Civivi and my first open L knife. I'm <laughs> just as excited for both of them. Um, I know open L knives are dirt cheap, as you can see by the packaging and. <laughs> <laughs> the materials that are used on this 
Um, I've handled a handful of like fake ones and knockoffs, but this is a genuine open L knife. And I believe I got the carbon version of the of the blade versus the other one that was like just like regular stainless steel. Um, from what I know, the carbon one is able to be sharpened much easier, but it uh, it'll rust. It'll rust much easier also versus the stainless steel one. It's a little collar lock. This is cool. I like this. This was uh, sorry I didn't mention. This is the number seven size. There are like like twenty different sizes and uh, multiple different little you know handle wood options. I think there's even ebony, redwood, and beech wood, and all this other cool stuff. Let's see if this little invoice says uh, what it was. Carbon plane blade, varnish, beechwood handle. Cool, cool. I've seen a handful of people use this knife to do like little like uh, like wood projects. They'll like strip the varnish and like modify the handle and and give it a cool look. Uh, who knows? This is this is really just gonna be like a little just throw around knife. It's about fifteen bucks, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And this guy over here, that sounds weird. Uh, this is the new for 2022 model, so this year. Uh, this is the Conspirator. Hopefully I'm saying that properly. This is the green micarta handle. I don't have any of Civivi or Wii's like green micarta, and I like this one. I wanted to give it a try. Green isn't really my thing but I really wanted to give it a shot. So here we go. Typical Civivi packaging, care guide and company little pamphlet thing here. This is a sticker and it'll go on this table where I have some of my other knives. The Elementum sticker, I have like five of these now. So, and the amazing little cleaning rags that are sent with their products. I love these things, use them for absolutely everything. And here's the start of the show. It's pretty big, honestly. But it uh, definitely feels pretty lightweight. The micarta feels a little oily already i don't know if they put anything on it i'm not too sure honestly but here here we go Ooh. that uh that was pretty soft like i need to that was, that was really smooth okay all right the i guess the detent or just the, the pressure of the, the plunge lock uh, it's really, really light. Maybe there'll be a way for me to tighten that, possibly. Um, I don't know. That doesn't sound too good. Might just be the coating needing to wear in. It is black coated stone wash, but holding the, the button down. Just sounds like like it like it's scraping in there. Like, so the throw on the button obviously that's you know fully extended. It's pretty flush with the handles. There's this little groove cut out here. But if I push all the way down to the max, that's where it makes that like scraping sound. But if I only push it down about halfway, it's pretty loose. But if I go all the way, it stops swinging. Interesting, interesting. Hopefully that'll change over time. It has this little fuller right here, so you can flick it out. Cool, I like that. Feels pretty good. Uh, my nails are non-existent right now, and I'm still able to get it. That's cool. 
thumb too. Maybe a little bit lower. Uh, I don't know about this one, guys. This is uh... a. <laughs> I think I think that open L <laughs> gonna be more excited than this thing. Who knows? Um, I mean, I really love the other button lock that Civivi has, the Altus. That one is amazing. I've taken it apart multiple times, cleaned it, I've sharpened it twice now, and uh, it's great. I love that knife. If this can be anything like it, that'd be pretty cool. But uh, not too, too impressed, honestly, with the action. I mean, I, I do fidget with my knives a lot. So that's what I really look, that's what I really look at when I'm, you know, when I go and purchase a knife and I'm hearing all these cool things about it. And it's like, this thing is on a major hype train right now. And I think possibly some dealers have already sold out. And the price of this guy. I ended up getting out a pre-order on on lifecenter.com and it was it doesn't even say here but it was it was around like 78 bucks so it's creeping up there in price i mean we all know that if uh with with Civivi products they used to be more budget oriented but now they're i mean everything's going up in price i get it but uh if they're still pushing out the same quality of product as they did maybe like five six years ago and the prices are going up I don't know how that's, you know, too well justified. Hmm. I'm just going to play with this thing, you know, use it for a week. And it's it's actually starting to feel a lot nicer as the more and more I play with it. I, I, I don't know why, like, the first flip was just garbage. It just, it was so, maybe, maybe my, my brain is just, you know, now telling my, index finger to you know to press a little harder I, mean, I could still fail it here if i'm doing it intentionally yeah well it's actually starting to sound nicer too it has this little little click to it, a little ting i do very much enjoy that reverse flick that is sweet Gotta practice a little bit more with the thumb. Yeah, not doing too well with the thumb. But hey, practice makes perfect. And hopefully within a week, I can bring you guys a little review on this. Just share my opinions and thoughts. But yeah, that's really it. Thank you guys for watching. I very much appreciate you guys tuning in to my little mail time and just the random crap that I like to share with you guys. Oh, if I watch recent pickups, that's not going to stay there. <laughs> Thank you, guys.